In Creole Parametric 11.0, map keys are now located in their own configuration file. Also, the location of the map keys command has been changed and the dialog box is a little different. If you launch Creole Parametric 11.0 and you still have map keys in your config.profile, you're going to get this warning message that will open up on the screen. It says that map keys are now saved in a dedicated map keys.profile instead of the config.profile. Map keys found in the config.profile in your home or running directory were ignored and instead loaded from the map keys.profile located in the user settings directory. In a moment, we will take a look at that location, but just be aware that if you launch Creo Parametric and you still have map keys in your config.profile, they're actually going to be copied to a map keys.profile for you. But anyhow, let's jump over to Creo Parametric 10 to see where the command used to be. Okay, here I am in Creo Parametric 10.0. I know it looks a lot similar. Let me just collapse the embedded browser. If you wanted to get to your map keys, in the previous versions, you would have to go to File, Options, and then Options. And then within here, you would go to the Environment category. And then there was a button for Map Key Settings. I will click on that. And that opened up a dialog box. And I just have one map key in here. You can see that you can create new map keys. You can edit existing ones. And let's say that you created one or modified one you would have a save change and save all button down at the bottom of the dialog box. So again, that's how it used to look. Now let's take a look at Creo 11. Okay, once again in Creo 11, be aware that you do have the ability to turn off the display of this message if you don't want to see it. Let me close out of the dialog box. By the way, if you close any of those different warning messages and you want to get them back, there is a place to get to them. If I go to file and then options, options, it's down here in one of the different commands like in window settings, I think it is, where you can turn off all those different warnings that you turned off before. Yeah, here it is. Suppress dialog boxes, resume display of dialog boxes. But anyhow, let's take a look at where the new command is for map keys. If you go to file and then options, now there is a dedicated map key settings command. So I will click on it and it opens up a dialog box. And you'll notice that it is a little bit different. First off, you can have administrator map keys in addition to user map keys. I think there was an issue before whereby if you had a config.sub file and you had map keys in there, it might have prevented you from creating your own individual map keys. But anyhow, here are some administrator ones that I created. Here is my user one. Over on the right, you have buttons for new, edit, run, and delete. But now you have a save dropdown list where you can choose save changed or save selected. And also there is an import export dropdown list where you can import export selected or export all. So that's how the dialog box has changed a little bit. But let's talk about these administrator and user settings. If you create your own custom map keys and then save them, well, it's going to be saved in that map keys profile. Let's take a look at where those go. All right. So here you can see my desktop First off, there is an app data folder and then roaming, PTC, Pro Engineer, Wildfire, .wf, .settings. That is where your map keys .profile is going to be created for you automatically. And any config.pro map keys are going to be copied into that location as your own user map keys. So let's say that you wanted to get to this particular location. Well, let me close this and show you how you do that. Here I am in Windows Explorer. If you go to the header, the address bar, whatever you call it, you can type in percent and then app data, A-P-P-D-A-T-A, -P -P -A, 
and then the percent sign again, and then hit the enter key. Well, that will go to your roaming folder. And then you want to scroll down in here and find the PTC folder. And then within PTC, you want to go to Pro Engineer. You would think maybe it would be Creo, but nope, it is Pro Engineer. And then within Pro Engineer, well, here you would go to the Wildfire folder. And then within Wildfire, there is a .wf file. Go to that. And then within here, you would go to dot settings. And this is where you would have your map keys dot profile. You'll notice that your other user interface customization files are in here. So if you make any changes to the user interface, this is where those changes are automatically stored. But let's say that you wanted to set some administrator map keys. Well, right now in the initial release of Creo Parametric 11.0, you would save that in your load point. That's wherever Creo Parametric 11 is installed on your computer. And then you would go to common files and text. And this is a very common location for a lot of your different configuration files. So for example, the holes files are located in here. Those are for your own custom standard holes. Also, we have our materials library in here and just scrolling down here some more. There are a bunch of other different files located. But if you take your configuration, excuse me, if you take your map keys and cut them out of your config.profile and then paste them into a text editor, then you can save it under the name mapkeys.pro and then locate it in this folder and those map keys will be loaded as your administrator map keys. If you are a cadmin at your company, well, you can edit your startup scripts to locate the mapkeys.profile here upon launching and that way you will be able to distribute your administrator map keys to all your different users. And by the way, you might be wondering, why did PTC make this change? Well, if you've ever seen the config.profile for users who really like map keys, it gets way overloaded with a ton of text inside of there. So for example, let me go to this mapkeys.profile and I'm gonna right click on it and then open with, let's say WordPad. Well, let me drag it over to this window. This particular file only has three map keys in it, but you can see it's a lot of different lines in here. And so if a person has 20 or 30 map keys, well, the majority of your config.profile ends up getting overwhelmed with all this information about what your map keys are. And by the way, the format for writing map keys are the same as in previous versions. And so all you need to do is cut and paste them out of your config.profile in order to create your own custom map keys.profile. Just be aware that as long as you have map keys in your config.profile, you are going to get that warning message that will open up when you launch Creo Parametric 11.0 unless you turn off that warning message.